Hey guys, welcome back once again to the Albanaga show. I hope you guys are having good time, a good year. You know, today in the hot seat, I have somebody who is very hot. Somebody who has been in the news, uh, you know, lately. And then uh, I'm sure uh, you might have heard about her in a good way, a bad way also. And then uh, without further ado, let me welcome my next guest, uh, Renbeni Odio. Hi. Hello. Yeah, welcome to our show and thank you so much for taking our time. It's good to be here. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> yeah. So you came all the way from Kohima. Yeah. So yeah, thank you for taking up all the trouble. And then uh, as you are very, uh, I mean, known in the internet as Murgi Laga Ama. So thank you so much, Murgi Lama, for coming. <laughs> Ajibi, uh, I hope some dana khawale amana naina sao pare. Anyway, let's go back straight. Uh, so people, maybe the young Gen Z, they know you right now. Maybe the old folks, they will know you because of the Nag Idol days. But people don't know you much, the young generation, you know. They maybe they just thought like, oh, this girl just pop up out of nowhere, you know. Mm -hmm. So we want to know, I want you to let the audience know about your background a little bit, you know. Maybe about your family, your schooling, and also about the your journey in Nag Idol. And you won the Nag Idol, you were a household name, you know. How, how did mm -hmm. it all start, maybe? Yeah, let's go. Ahead. Um, thank you for inviting me. Uh, so it started um, in 2010 when I won Naga Idol. I was still in college. So I studied in, I did my graduation from Shillong okay. and then my high school uh, from Kohima, Dendibat School. Dendibat. So anyway, uh, after that, I was, during my, during my college days, I was thinking, should I just pursue with my studies or should I do something else? Because I really love singing. So I've been singing since I was, I don't know, since I started to talk. Mm -hmm. So singing was always my passion. And then when I heard that there was an audition going on for Naga Idol um, in 2010, I, <laughs> I didn't tell my parents that I was, I was going to audition, okay. but eventually they found out and then my mom came to support me. And then, yeah, after the audition, it was a cruel, it was like six long months of uh, just being participating in the Naga Idol wow. that I've mm. learned so much. And my first mentor was Muan Nong Sang, mm -hmm. the first Naga Idol. So I learned a lot during the Naga Idol days. And then from there, things took off. Mm -hmm. And 2011, I became the ambassador for NSEX, mm -hmm. Nagaland State Society. After that, yeah, after that, I started doing shows nonstop. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm pretty, yeah, I, I would say I'm very, very blessed mm -hmm. to have traveled around the world mm -hmm. pre representing like Nagalan. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then I also released an album yes, <laughs> in 2011. I remember, I remember that. Yeah, so <coughs> that album was special. It's called, it was called Essence. Mm -hmm. So. Those that in that album, uh, I started writing when I was very young. So I took all those songs that I've written throughout the mm -hmm. years. And then, although it was childish, I thought it will be like a sweet memory, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, so I compiled those songs and then I released the album Essence. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and then later on, I won maybe a couple of awards, Nagaland mm -hmm. Music Awards. Yes. And yeah, after that, this happened. <laughs> so yeah, so you were very active. We we remember because that was the time even us we started. You mm. know the band Alobonang and the band, and we were all in the you know the the in the industry. But then suddenly over the years you disappeared again. You know, and then uh, you you came back, mm. and uh, so let's talk about what. When I called you, remember, I I called you up for, for that uh, mixed martial arts. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, one of the reasons why I did was like we discussed with the team and then um, we know you as a very strong woman, first of all. <laughs> Second Thank you. was uh, we saw you training on social media, you know, like Combat Academy mm -hmm. and 
you've been trained. So we thought like when, because we can't just pick anybody for the fight, you know, even though it was an exhibition match, we wanted someone who really knows the business and then we invited you and then you said yes and mm. the things happen. Yeah. And everybody, we don't need to go d uh, into the nitty gritty, but then yes, the, the after effect, then uh, things got so bad on social media, you know, both of us, we're also part of it. So how did you, cope up with that, the, the criticisms, because like you were away from social media and then mm. suddenly you came in the limelight and it was for the wrong reason, mm. you know, and people were bombarding you, people were uh, judging. judging you, uh, you know, it was so brutal, you know, so how did you cope up with that, you know, yeah. Okay, before I answer that, I just want to uh, go back to what you said, like I took a break from the music scene yeah. for a couple yeah, of yeah. years. And uh, the reason why I took those years off was because I have been non-stop performing ever since I won Naga Idol 2010, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And then till 2019, I was active mm -hmm. and uh, every hornbill, every show that was... And even people were saying like, oh, we're so fed up of seeing this face, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, and so the reason why I took that, that break was I started uh, going through a mild depression That's and true. I started experiencing this anxiety and panic attacks on stage. Wow. And that was a very surprising thing for me. I was not expecting that to happen mm -hmm. because, mm -hmm. you know, after doing so many shows, you know, you have experienced mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. You go up on stage, it feels like home, right? Mm -hmm. After doing it for so many years. But I, I started having this, this moments of like just zoning out, forgetting my lyrics, people staring at me, feeling this, this feeling, I remember feeling so anxious and not learning how to cope because no, I didn't know what was, I didn't understand what was happening to mm -hmm. me. So finally I had to admit to myself that, okay, I think I'm going through something bad. Wow. And, uh, and it's okay. So I don't have to be so ambitious. I just need to be, uh, I just need to take care of myself first so that I can feel happy when I go up on stage and start singing again. Mm -hmm. Because I wasn't feeling it at that time. Mm -hmm. I wasn't feeling the energy from the crowd. I wasn't feeling mm -hmm. the songs. I didn't want to write. I didn't want to sing. So for that reason, I completely went on a hiatus. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and when you called me, mm -hmm. That was a time when I was thinking of a comeback. Okay, okay. So I just thought, okay, this is this seems like a perfect, you know, the stars are aligning. Mm -hmm. I'm preparing for a comeback. And then you're calling me to do something that I was passionate about, which mm -hmm. was uh, mixed martial arts. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I mean, I wasn't like full time into it, but I do appreciate and respect MMA so much. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it became sort of like a part of my routine. And, um, and I, obviously I did not expect things to go so south, you know, mm -hmm. and, uh, how I learned to cope, cope with, uh, the, the aftermath of the drama, yeah. it was because of, okay, first of all, I knew God was with me. I mm -hmm. just had to. This is when I learned about faith the most. When you are at your lowest and you have nothing and no one to turn to, you have to put your faith in something. Amen. And that was just, okay, God, I put my faith in you. And then I know I'm a sinner. I, I have committed sins intentionally. You know, I've, I've done things which I'm not proud of, but still here I am mm -hmm. and help me. And that was one thing. And then the other one was support from my friends and my family. Mm -hmm. This is when I realized that social media is not real, guys. Social media is, is not real. It, it is only real when you make, make it real for yourself. Mm -hmm. Well, because once I shut off social media and then I went back to my real life, it was like nothing, everything was normal. Yeah. You know, because my family, they understood, they reach <laughs> out, they were like, we're, we're worried about you, we're hearing this about you. You're on the news. Why are you on the news? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was like, well, 
there's something and and then you know after I explained properly and they understood and I, and I also have a job but I don't want to tell people what I do because mm -hmm. that's something I, I I'm a very private person so uh, I don't like to put everything out on the media or on mm -hmm. social platforms so yeah shutting off social media was one thing that helped me and then support from my friends and my family and uh, yeah, that really helped me stay grounded, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I was just oh, this is this is my life. This is the real life. Then I was, I'm so blessed because not a lot of people have that, you know. True, true. Yeah, it's so, so important to uh, that you mentioned about that. You know, we need family. We need f good friends mm, so because uh, what you see on social media is not real. You know. Yeah. And uh, you might have thousands of friends, but when you really count, they're only a handful, or sometimes none. None. Yeah, so there are a lot of people, I think, like, who don't have real friends also. Or family. Yeah, family also, today, today in this world, you know. Mm. And mm. Uh, I just want to say this to the audience also, you know. Uh, yes, we are all using social media and all, but don't rely on that, you know. That is not everything in life. and. Uh, the likes and the comments that appreciate mm, you. I mean, the, somebody liking you. The validation you, the, the you, get, validation from, you yeah. get from the social yeah. media. And information as well. Information, the rumors. Don't believe True. everything you see or read on social media because there were so many people who were saying, I don't know you, Ren, but I hate you. Yeah. So make it make sense. You don't know me, mm. but how can you say so firmly that you hate me because mm -hmm. of what you read, what you heard. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, it doesn't make sense, but okay, I respect it because everyone has their own opinions. Everyone has the right to say what they want. I have, I cannot be like, hey, no. you guys, don't say this about me. I, hate, I don't like it. Yeah, write whatever you want, but there should be some sense of accountability, mm -hmm. you know? You, you should be responsible. You should, I think like, you should think a little before you write someone a hate comment. So I think that is important. Sometimes people like, we, we just write because we enjoy it, but we don't think of the consequences or, you know, what it can do to others, you mm. know, the damage or... Yeah. See, you are a strong woman and then you had families and friends who were supporting you. It can be anybody. See, imagine like you're a weak person and if people attack you like this, some people will go suicidal also. Mm. And it's really, or maybe forget that, go into depression and, and I'm sure, you know, everybody needs to know this, you know. We need to be careful of what we write on social media. Once you write, you may delete it, but once people see that, you know, the effect that it mm. goes on. Now, speaking of hate, it all started, many people believe that because of the diss track that you made, you know. Oh. Many people believe that uh, you're not supposed to, and the people I meet and then, you know, they're like, they all come to me and they're like, oh, why like, you do this district? Why do you do this district? Why do you do this district? You know? So, I, I want to talk about that diss track. For me personally, from the musician point of view, I even, uh, commented in your district also, I remember that, and people were against that. But for me, I was uh, unaware of the fight, to be honest, between you guys, because I was too busy with my life. And But then I, I when I listened to the track, it was like masterpiece, in the sense, musically, lyrically, like, you know, like, and, and I didn't expect that <laughs> you could rap, because we all, we only know Renmini as the, the, the singer, 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 <laughs> yeah. singer, you know, the, the pop artist. But then here you came and then, you did it so good. I mean, I'm talking from the musical point oh. of view. So, mm. uh, the music, whoever made that, the producer, like, you know, the the, the, the track was like bomb, you know, mm. top. Yeah. So, kudos to the guy, you know, whoever it is, if you want to mention. So, how did you come up with the this track? And then, are, were you aware that itu kurilu to iniga pabo, that you'll get, you know, because our people are not, uh. they don't even know what is this track, to be honest. Yeah. So, yeah. It's, uh, I'm, it, yeah, it was total. I think for most people it was like a culture shock. Yeah. Like and especially I mean this this tracks even Moko did it, you know. Yeah. LC even and JP all, yeah, did it, yeah. LC did it, yeah. A lot of people did yeah. it in the past, yeah. But it was mostly 
I'm not trying to make it a gen gender war, but then mm -hmm. it's pretty evident that when the guys did it, it was okay. It was they were like, oh, there's a beef going on. You yeah, know, this yeah. is what hip hop is about, and obviously, I I will I'm I was not part of the hip hop scene, mm -hmm. right? So the and a female dropping in this track, Nagalin, it was like I knew what I was doing, mm -hmm. but I also did it because I thought. It was a fair fight, okay? Mm. You you uh, you said all this about me on social media. Uh, nothing held you back. You had your share of fun trashing me, so I was like, let's make it fun. <laughs> let's 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 make it fair and square, right? So I thought it was. I didn't take it personally, and uh, not only. Amnikla na janit Even I wasn't aware. Of what what uh, the beef was about, mm -hmm, okay? Mm -hmm. Because I thought it was just a, it was just a match, it was a fight, it's done, and I was just moving on with my life, the mm -hmm. regular life, mm -hmm. and then suddenly, boom! I was bombarded with all this, um, uh, these people, like DMs. I was getting DMs, getting screenshots. Hey, did you did you hear this about what this person said about you? And I was like, oh, okay. And then uh, one thing I I wasn't particularly fond of was um, my supporters getting attacked. You mm -hmm. know when people were posting on the stories <laughs> saying, "Oh, you go Ren," and you know. So I so I thought I be, because for me as an artist, I don't like to stick to only one genre. When I started off my music career, I started off with rock. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do like Christian rock and alternative rock, so my even my first album is just full on rock. Mm -hmm. So that's how I started. Then I started, then I went into EDM. Mm -hmm. Then mm -hmm. uh, um, after that, it worked out. I won awards for mm -hmm. that. I went to pop. It, it, so my next move was okay. What is something that I want that's to yeah. really, you know, <laughs> let's venture onto something new. So I thought this was a perfect opportunity to just. Try out hip hop. So, what can make an impact more than a diss track? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it was just a one-day project. Really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got the track, and I worked on it, and then um, I went to the recording studio, and then as soon as we recorded the song, we did the video, and boom. We, one day. Yeah. Wow, that's like respect. Right? <laughs> so wow. people don't understand that uh, I, I, I'm old school. I still write in a notebook. Not sure, sure. So for me, I can either finish a song in like five minutes or it can take about six months. So it's yeah, like nothing in between. That. Yeah. That's the, yeah, yeah. And then the most of the songs I write in the studio itself. Mm -hmm. I love that. So it's like okay, something, okay. I feel the music and then you know, the producers and all that there. So you need a little bit of help too, right? I, I, yeah. I saw some uh, comments also. People thought like, oh, Alobo was helping. Yeah, uh, that's uh, what I heard. Yeah, like, yeah. People, I, uh, there was, I think there was a rumor saying that you were the one who sponsored or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I? Yeah, well, yeah. Maybe and somewody saying I produce or produce. <laughs> we wrote the song together. And I'm and like, you're not hey. that good, yeah. <laughs> I know, man. Thanks. Yeah, I mean, I was not... To be honest, like uh, people, uh, people will say that I, I, I was lying. That people say it also, but like those who know me, they know me, man. My yeah. life, like once I finish one thing, I'm like I'm already in the next. You know, I mean, if I'm if I give a shit about what people think, what people talk, then I wouldn't be where I am today. You yeah, know, yeah. I um, that's why I was just th those days. I was really concerned because. To be honest, for me, I've been in this industry from like a very long time, and I've been in this like the criticism thing. Yeah. Like you know, people critics me for you whatever the, reason. I've been so used to it. You're the president. I'm the president of <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah. So I was really concerned for both of you, also, honestly yeah. speaking, because you also you were there in the limelight, but 
it was you guys don't get like me to be honest mm. and then you came and then i was also feeling sorry for lee to be honest you know getting like that and it's not easy it's not easy trust me and uh, i was really worried to be honest for both of you also i, I was worried and my god the amount of hate messages you know i'm i'm sure both of you were getting equally you know and it was so brutal and oh uh, they were like you know just they went to every Yeah. said they could go you know like shaming you guys you know that was brutal and now coming back to the this track again like many people who don't know about this track agiri kwanishina they were like tai ra to gana start kwa karne kurishi they were all blaming the this track you know and because that, i think it made a very huge impact yeah i think that's why uh, the, yeah. that got so much attention and mm-hmm. then all the attention was on the this track right yeah. but time and time again i kept saying that the this it was it was all uh, the lyrics and everything was based on the rumors the things that were said about me and then i compiled mm-hmm. those and then i wrote it and then that that turned into the diss track so it was an Uh, yeah but but, but yeah, our people are not used to it maki ta rakta maki la bianya ko like you know that even that's the women bringing down women and i feel that's so stupid this is when i i uh, this feminism thing is getting out of control it's not about women attacking women men attacking men it's nothing about it. it's an individual mm-hmm. you know all aside it's just individual <laughs> just as us as person মাইকি হই না মাইকি গে ছাগা গ্রেসি বলে গ্রেসি তো ইটস নট অবাউট ইউ নো হোয়াট ইউ আর ওমেন সো ইউ নো হোয়াট আই এম জাস্ট গোনা লেট ইউ গো লি ডু মোতাস না মোতাই ভি আই এম নট গোনা ডু দ্যাট ইটস জাস্ট ইট শুড বি ফেয়ার ফাইট ইউ নো সো আই ডোন্ট আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড দিস মাইকি কিলেস it's just a social media entertainment they people are having fun but, but it was at the end of the day it's all drama and some people thought we were we and we, drama makes the best content you know they liked it manu kum madu bhavishya like we were doing all this thing like yeah. you know, like one you do jagra grohan the purat manu bhavishya it's all scripted yeah. you know like even the, like, the even was scripted yeah, in like people, 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 people thought the entire thing was scripted like i was, I was like wow but we did entertain people yeah. like at, at our, our expense, own expense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and uh yeah moving but, ahead. yeah I, but also i want to say one thing that i i okay mm, it's a culture shock this track from a female rapper mm-hmm. i still don't consider myself fully as a rapper uh-huh, i think i'm uh-huh. just learning and i'm still learning so uh i might be the first female rapper to drop a this track mm-hmm. but i won't be the last i'm sure you I'm know sure. um, yeah. there's still a lot of still a lot of young young female rappers mm-hmm. or or you know rappers <coughs> yeah. in general boy uh-huh. boys and girls like it's 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 part of the hip hop culture yeah it is it you is. know so i think it shouldn't be taken personally it should be like oh yeah it's uh, she dropped a diss track let's look at it from a musical standpoint of view yeah true and oh the bars oh do that those yeah, are yeah, bars true, you know true, it shouldn't true. be like wait did she call her this did she call her this that's let's not over evaluate things mm-hmm. okay moving ahead to the next uh, track the recently you you released another one called clowns so are we doing killer so many people are like yeah we just were like yeah are we killer they call me the mother of uh amugi ama and ama of districts so <laughs> yeah. when did you come back with another where are you like oh are we mugi if i do this they'll hit me back no. where you not thinking after about that, that you know after like okay the first the first wave of hate right uh-huh. that was shocking to me that that really blew me away that put me <clears throat> that made me miserable because like you said you have experienced it i have never experienced it in my 10 years of being in the music industry the entertainment industry i have kept a very very strict private life i have ne- i've been very careful about what i put out on social media i never had beef with anyone in the music industry publicly and uh because you know here everybody knows everybody you just yeah. you just go along so um Yeah so after I experienced that it was like uh that uh, by the grace of god I I got through it 
they say like if you're going through hell go through it you know so that when you reach heaven you'll appreciate it mm -hmm. so after i experienced that i was like i read thousands in one video there were like nine thousand comments in the other video there were like almost ten thousand comments mm -hmm. so I was like, okay, so thousands of people had opinions about me and I could not fight back. I could not uh, clarify anything. I didn't want to write back. I didn't want to fight with anyone. So I'll do what I do best, mm -hmm. sing and rap. Yeah. <laughs> so I just wanted to, I didn't go so harsh with the song. You know, I didn't want to like uh, offend people that much. I don't know. They still, they get offended by everything I do and say, but um, so that's 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 like that was like my way of saying like you can you guys can say whatever about me I heard everything, but you know what at the end of the day you guys are clowns with just a mask on mm. behind social behind the the, the screen mm. you're social warriors at least for me I'm facing mm. it you mm -hmm. know you know me you've seen my face, but you guys are clowns. Mm -hmm. So that's my message to you clowns and stay. Be clowns. I'll do my thing. Be clowns. Mm -hmm. That's that's that was my message. And after that, done. 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 Are you coming back I, to the district? Or you... No. No, unless right? Someone, <laughs> <laughs> unless you know, districts are fun. You know, people enjoy it. Yeah. I enjoy it. Oh, on this topic. Huh? With this no, no. Subject. This is over. This is You're done. Over, right? We're so yeah. over. That is so 2023. You know, 2024. Yeah, it's a new year. New year. New we people. Need new, new people new to fight. <laughs> <laughs> new beef, new districts. <laughs> so, okay, uh, speaking of new thing, uh, would you be interested to come back in the Octagon again, the MMA? Yeah. Uh, no. no. No, I think I'm kind of old for that also. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, <laughs> the, like uh, because after going through that, oh, oh I, it makes me... It makes me sick also <coughs> when I think about the training process. But but did you enjoy like the the? the it was fun. It was. Yeah. It, I felt everything at once when I was going through the training. Okay. Yeah, it was. What pain. about that moment inside the catch? You know. Oh yeah, I think everyone should experience it. You know, everyone who had opinion about us, they should go inside the octagon, not even inside the the boxing ring. Okay, you well, should go inside the octagon. The cage. The yeah. cage. <laughs> get locked up. Uh, Stand face to face your, with your opponent and face your fears. Respect, man. Respect to both I think, of you. Yeah, also, yeah, that was because people are saying, "Aya ki fight crazy, itu ki kliyaze," or you're going to get hit. You yeah. know, it's not like you're going to stand there and be like, "Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to my channel." You're not going to do that. <laughs> you're going to go and get hit, or you hit that person. Yeah, it's they say well, this is for entertainment, and then I I uh, I showed. I show people what scripted fight looks like, mm. choreographed fight looks like. Professionals, professional fighters mm. who have been doing for years and years, they do the choreographed fight, not, not us. How can we memorize everything? It was not <laughs> scripted, it was not staged, nothing was fake, everything was real. Um, yeah, everything, all the, the training, the emotions, the fight, everything was real. See, people should know one thing, man. Like, Manuki, I want to say this in the comments. Because we brought like MMA referees, like officials from like India, right? It's MMA India. Mm. Why would we, why would they even come and like, you know, Misa Mishila, Manu, you know, stage fight, they can't kill in a referee. Yeah. Bro, I, and you know, I felt, I felt bad when the drama overshadowed the whole event because... Yeah, that was the sad part too. That was so sad because for me, I I love, I love MMA. I watch UFC, I watch one championship and I, I most of my friends are in the fighting industry, you know? Uh -huh. So I have so much respect for the sport. That is also one of the reasons why I, yeah. I agreed to participate in that event. So. I thought that would bring more attention because so Tanbi, when they go outside to fight, mm. they have to look for sponsors. Yeah. Right? In Mantukasudo, you have to look for your traveling expenses, your accommodation, your state. Fighting is the 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 the, the whole thing is so expensive. It's not easy, it's not cheap to fight, true, true, you know, true, professionally. True, yeah. So I thought that would draw people's attention uh -huh, to the uh -huh. sport. And then 
and I've always been, I've always been like, no, this, this needs more attention. This is a true sport. It's not easy to do this, guys. So I thought it will, it will help. Yeah, but, 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 then... but I, 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 yeah, it does two, two things. We can take it from there. Uh, one, as you said, uh, the reason why we put all this masala or, you know, the, the exhibition or the music, we put a lot of musicians also that night, was to bring more people who are not aware of mm. the AMA. Mm. So let them know. But again, because of this drama also, I want to, the, the, let's take some positive, you know, uh, take also that people who don't know MMA mm. now know MMA yeah. because mm. of this drama also. So in, a, in, in one way, yes, at our expense, no doubt, but then People know now, at yeah. least. And then, uh, but the sad part was like Iturati there. There were around twelve professional fights, and oh my God, respect to all the fighters. You know, so I, I was so happy that mon naga manonmi mon bhal bhal na manonmi naga manonmi inya kilishe bhar manonmi aina to instead of appreciating that. Oh, but then again, one thing I realized was like we had like thousands of people who came to watch you guys that night. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. Please go, the adrenal rush, you know, the, the, yeah, the, it's, it's different. It's Even us as an Na, audience. A giri buena mando yeah. mark up, punch kada, pa, pa, mark up. And then it's sweaty and then... It didn't even, you know, goosebumps. Yeah. I've never experienced, I experienced Chris, have you? You know, it's TV that's how it's real, so I'll be sure that's it. So next time, though, because I've always been able to play the game. Yeah, people do that. And yeah, it's like, they, 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 they talk so much about, oh, UFC, UFC, this, that. And then when I asked them, so who's your na favorite na Naga fighter? Najanik, mm, Tabi. Sure. They cannot name any Naga fighters. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So uh, it's like, uh, don't talk about, oh, Naga Manula, Nam Bia Grace, Naga Manula. When you don't go and support your own people, you know, mm -hmm. when you don't show up for your own people, don't talk about, oh, you're misrepresenting us. Why are you putting Naga name in Mahala? Manula nam kili biagres and all that, and then, but when it comes to actually showing up and supporting your artists, your your people, when they are uh, in those huge platforms, mm -hmm. they don't they don't show up, no show. So yeah. it's funny. Naga manambi chogoras de opinions to iman dangor bukina kam the iman asego. I know I'm talking like a amma, but you know I claim the name Murgi Amma. Yeah. So, so your so. next album should be like Murgi Amma. <laughs> you know, that, that, I'll that be trend. dropping a merch soon. So okay. So what's your plans right now? What's your future plans besides this topic thing in uh, your life? Yeah. Is there any new music, uh, an album, anything, anything? Uh, album, album. I don't know. Let's see album though. No? But uh, yeah, I'm working Singles. on yeah. Okay. Work, okay. Working on few songs. Uh, I'm writing a lot, so I don't know which one to put out first. That's the problem. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so I, I mean, I dropped. I recently dropped a music video, and then people are like, "Where? Keep, drop more music video." It's like uh, just just wait. Mm -hmm. it'll, it'll take some time. So maybe if I have enough songs, then maybe I can do like an EP mm -hmm. later on. Okay, okay. Yeah, so, but we, you can expect more music. Yeah, signals, uh, huh? Yeah. Please, please. So um, it will be like, maybe people are thinking like, I will, I'm going to go full on rap, but... No? No. Okay, so, so they'll be singing, singing, singing also. Singing. Okay, looking forward. And what about, you were mentioning about the merchandise. So are you coming up with your merch, you know? Yeah, I... Because people are asking for it. Funny enough, they want like <laughs> they want like we want some we want and I was like NBF la t-shirt is not the cure and they're like oh. so I decided okay let's let's do maybe among friends some few supporters who want okay, to okay. so merge. Okay, already imagine yeah. NPF la. Okay. <laughs> so next election NPF should yeah. sponsor yours. So yeah, I have to be careful with the design. Uh -huh, so uh -huh. Let's see. Okay, okay. All the best with your your future. You know the music, and I'm I'm sure you want to stick to music. Yeah. And then that's what you do good. So we wish you the best. And then yeah, we're looking forward for the merch also. And then uh, is there any message you want to 
say to the audience here before we leave today? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I really want to thank all the people who have supported me, not just during this, this time, but people who have known me for a very long time, the supporters who stood by me since Nagairo days and, uh, and people who have the new supporters as well, like who really sent me like encouraging texts and messages. Um, thank you. Thank you all for, for everything that you, you do. And uh, I hope that I can become a better person, you know, a better artist. But I also want to say that, um, you know, people have uh, some f fathers, parents, they have, they have told me, you are not being a really good role model mm -hmm. to me. So to that, I want to say, I, I've, uh, I'm not really looking, I'm not really trying to portray myself as a role model, mm -hmm. you know, because even for me, after what I went through with my depression and everything, I'm still in that healing process and discovering new things about me. So I am most likely to make mistakes along the way. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't want you to think of me as a role model for your children at the moment, but I hope that I could spread some good influence, make set some good examples, you know, later on, maybe not now, I don't know. But yeah, definitely, I'll try to work on myself, come up with really good music, you know, people that people can relate to. And then, um, and also, like, so sorry to people who felt uh, discouraged and felt offended by what you saw. Some people have thought of it as a disgrace to our Naga society. It was never my intention. And I hope that uh, we can all learn from this and yeah, I, I just want to say thank you. Thank you to my supporters, my friends, my families. Thank you. Thank you for being a good friend to me. And uh, I hope that, uh, yeah, it will be a very blessed, fruitful year. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a very, very powerful message, you know. Thank you so much. And uh, we wish you the best. Be strong, uh, as always. You have been very strong. So I'm sure you you'll get through all this thing very soon. And all the best with the music, as I say. And also, before we leave, um, I want to appreciate one of your music, that Lotha song, you know. Oh, which, yeah, so for those who don't know, you know, you, you hear this song in all the fashion shows, like in oh, yeah. all the pageants, and people use this song, and that's from this girl, you know. You can check it out also, on, you know, on social media, on, on your channel. Yeah, yeah. I just opened, I recently opened my my Spotify accounts and all. Okay. Just just, just recently. Okay. okay. So. So uh, people can get yeah, to Spotify, yeah, right? Yeah, they can they can stream it out there. Okay, yeah. awesome. On this note, we're gonna say goodbye and uh, stop judging people. Be good always. Please support our people. We just started. We have a long way to go. Whether it's a musician, sports person, business. Any in any field, our people are still amateur and we're still a long way to go. So please support us. If we're doing wrong, please come and correct us instead of criticizing us in public. Thank you so much. We'll see you very soon. God bless. Bye.